just a nice wee drill, even before you start swinging, like if you're, if you're just kind of getting into that rhythm, and see that nice rhythm I have with you there? That's the kind of rhythm you want to get into with your kettlebell swing. Loads of tension at the bottom, loads of tension at the top, everything in between, it's fairly relaxed. The kettlebell does all the work for you, okay? Now what we're gonna talk about is the setup, and I'm gonna get you to go stupidly heavy, because we're not actually gonna swing anything yet. Everyone sees me get out the big bells, and they're like, oh Jesus, no, I'm not swinging that, you're mental. All we're gonna work on, huh? Yeah, Tommy can press that, I'm fairly sure. Do you not curl that or something? <laughs> so <clears throat> what we're gonna do is, we're gonna focus on wedge and back. So whenever you guys get, got taught the deadlift, there was that wedge that everyone talks about where you can lean back against the weight. It's the same with the kettlebell. The more you can lean back against the weight, the more you can start to counterbalance. As the bell comes through your legs, you go forward. As the bell comes back out of your legs, you go back. And it's kind of like this pendulum back and forth. Okay, and that's where the rhythm comes from. If you're doing it with like an eight, you will fall over, all right? When there's a bit of weight on the bell, you trust yourself to sit your hips back. So what you're gonna practice here, and we can partner off and practice this together. We're gonna to start with our setup. So when we're setting up is we're gonna go, some people teach this, some people don't. I like to teach this just to get a distance. The more experience you get with kettlebells, you kind of can walk up and you know your distance. But in case you don't, one foot goes behind the kettlebell and your toes are touching the bell. The other foot comes right behind and it's like you're walking on a tightrope, okay? The foot that's furthest back, you're gonna slide that out so it's in line with your shoulder. This foot, you're gonna slide that back so that it's in line with the other shoulder. And then you've made a nice wee triangle behind the kettlebell, okay? If you do this, if you would have done there differently, the front foot moved first. So it's always the back foot that comes back in line with the shoulder. The other foot then that was touching the bell, it moves back second, okay? Then from there, you're gonna practice rooting yourself into the floor again. Do that first drill that we done, start to grip the floor, gonna feed the glutes, and then we hinge back. I don't mind if you kind of squat here a little bit, if that's more comfortable for you to get into this hinge, we can practice the hinge after, okay? Then from there, you're gonna get a good grip of the kettlebell. So notice I didn't do this, okay? And if any of you guys get into that habit, there's one finger missing, and trust me, that breaks everything down on your swing, because you can't grip the bell as hard as what you could. Hmm? Oh yeah, loads of people do that. And then it ends one way, fucking let go of the kettlebell, and people nearly get a broken leg. <clears throat> so, what you're gonna do, come over the top of the bell first, Try and get all the fingers through the handle and get a good grip of the bell. You're now you're not death gripping it. I don't want to see everyone like white knuckling. Just get a good grip of it. Then from there, you're going to lean back. So notice what I did there. My shoulders are over the top of the kettlebell. I keep my hips high and I move back. Okay? And you can just practice that. And what I'm looking for when I do that, when I shift my weight back, notice my shin and my knee in relation to my ankle. Okay, so here now, knee is over the top of the toes. I move back and I've got a nice straight line up my shin. I'm trying to show off my t-shirt. So like we did in the warm up with the cat camels, I'm showing off my t-shirt. And then here, I'm gonna think of breaking the handle of the kettlebell. And then just play about with your hip angle until you find the most stretch on your hamstring where it feels uncomfortable. And just hold that for about five seconds. Let go, stand up, okay? Today, try not to go over five reps of anything I'm getting you guys to do. People will do like 20 reps of this and then by the time they're swinging the bell, they're like, Jesus Christ, I can't even stand up straight. Okay, so I know, I know it's easy to get carried away and I've done that myself. Just keep it like five reps and just practice that setup. The more you guys nail the setup, trust me, the easier the kettlebell swing is. Sweet. Do you guys want to pearl off with this bell? Do you guys want to pearl off? I'll get you a heavy bell. 